My beloved child, this moment between us here is no mere happenstance. As you read these words, know that I have carefully chosen this time to reach out and envelop you in my love. I have longed to speak intimately to your spirit, but patiently awaited the perfect occasion to unveil my heart in fullness. Surely you have felt the gentle tugging of my spirit, drawing you closer while preparing your soul to truly hear my voice. I know you have opened my word with sincerity, finding their phrases that resonate deeply within. And now, as you open your heart without reservation, I meet you here. Our communication is renewed, our covenant of faith and reliance reaffirmed. No need exists for fretting anxious thoughts about whether your petitions somehow fail to reach my throne. Do not let worry consume you so, breeding doubts that strangle out living hope. Dismiss those lies, my precious one. From the first anguished cry, I dispatched a mighty guardian to unlock prisons, break chains, set captives free. Never forget that a fierce battle rages for your soul, as ageless spiritual forces vie for your eternal destiny. The deceiver himself doggedly stalks your steps, intent on your destruction, loathing to see you walk in triumph. But far greater is my power, the legions I command to shield the children I love. Yes, recent sorrows aloud were not random misfortunes. This season of testing has purpose in my plan, so now be wise and discerning. Guard well your thoughts and words. Carefully consider in whom to confide your secrets, seeking counsel only from those loyal and true. For the enemy ceaselessly searches out weak spots of pain or pride, cunningly exploiting any foothold to breed deception and breed faith in my truth. But fear no more, my beloved. Your future path has wonders yet undreamt. Though seasons come of weeping and wounding, assuredly joy will dawn, chasing sorrow far away. Even enemies who pierce your heart will one day seek the grace to make amends, and I will infuse you with my spirit of forgiveness when that day arrives. Yes, storms will assail every traveler crossing seas to reach the harbor home, but fix your sight on me alone, I who calm the raging waves. Pay no heed to other voices, however lovely, promising blessings and prosperity, Ignore impressive claims you cannot verify, for no one holds the truth I offer you, unchangeable, without shadow or variance. None else can guard and guide through danger as I alone can do. Turn from me at your peril, tempted by counterfeit dreams, and risk losing forever the glorious plans I intend for you. Redeem this hour, anchor firmly in my ever-living word, Words overflowing with truth and power, spirit and life for all who fully trust. The moment of decision rapidly approaches. Will you choose my comforting refuge and embrace? Commit your way to me each new day, listening for my voice to light your path with purpose. Then come freely to my throne of grace, no hint of hesitation, for no appointments are required no arriving too early or late in this court. Threshold crossers, all are welcome. I am Lord of the Open Door, desperate to hear your voice. Daily we will meet as you unburden your soul. Unveil every hidden chamber within. Share with me your wildest dreams, your acute and chronic pains, perplexities, fears. Together we will sort out solutions, apply heaven's balm, Unravel mysteries of the heart, for I alone see, know, and understand you best. I am your unfailing confidant and dearest companion. Tempests have raged outside, assaulting from every side. Within, swirling storms as well have battered your peace, leaving you broken. But now, through words anointed by my spirit, I bring healing for trauma and wounds no eye can see. Courage and comfort, strength for the weary, bountiful peace. Receive from my hand all that you need for the journey ahead. Though fury continues a while, 
you will walk through fire unburned, sheltered within. And whenever weariness threatens to overtake, come find me waiting beside still waters, living streams brimming with rest and renewal. Dismiss all condemning, defeated thoughts. Refuse to allow past failures to disqualify and define. Banish those crippling lies that declare you unworthy, unloved, unwanted. The blessings prepared require no earning, no climbing impossible ladders. For my delight is to shower favor upon you simply because of my extravagant love for you, my treasured child. You belong to me now and for all eternity, purchased by my covenant blood, sealed by my scarred hand. My affection cannot waver, my commitment will never change. Truly this long-awaited day dawns radiant with promise and victory never to be forgotten. Behold, I spread a sacred feast before you, even in presence of enemies. Goodness and mercy chase you down all your days. No more weeping or despair lingering under my smile, only joy everlasting and pleasures forevermore. Heed this my solemn vow. Soon you shall witness every problem unraveling until not one fragment remains. The help so desperately needed even now rushes toward you, the provision so long awaited. Speak this aloud in declaration of faith, as golden bowls of prayer incense rise heavenward. I love you, Lord. I believe and receive all you say. Not one word shall fall void to the ground. Yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory, now and forever. I know your cares and burdens, beloved. I see the frustration mounting when long-awaited breakthroughs seem always delayed, problems multiplying instead of solved. But now, turn from the chaos and clamor. Fix your gaze upon me. Bear no more weight of worlds upon shoulders. I never meant to carry such loads. Tranquility and deep, settled assurance flow freely as you cease striving to manufacture outcomes, entrusting yourself fully instead into my capable hands, for I alone comprehend completely the complex details of your journey, each intricate thread woven into an exquisite tapestry displaying my glory. Nothing eludes my vigilant watch, and though oft times you cannot glimpse beyond the next bewildering turn, I remain steadfast at your side, leading gently onward. Have you not perceived my friendship in the shadows? walked aware of my presence through darkest of nights. Even valleys of deepest loss echo with my words of life and hope. Beloved child, abandon fear and despair. Drain from your cup all traces of faithlessness. Again I avow, never have I abandoned or forsaken you, not even for a moment. Constantly I work to bring all things together for your good shaping events and circumstances toward a magnificent conclusion. Lean heavier into me, precious one. Allow my words to soak deep down into parched soil, germinating seeds of faith and trust in what you cannot see or understand just yet. For I am opening before you doors once tightly shut, portals into long-awaited promises now manifesting suddenly. Boldly step through as opportunity arises. Seize your appointed moment with hands of faith, refusing to cower any longer in midnight's gloom. The dark night of your soul will yield at last to glorious sunrise, heralding revival and restoration long awaited. I have seen your tears of desperation pleading for merciful intervention as dreams lay shattered at your feet, dying embers barely smoldering. Yet even as icy waves of grief and pain engulfed your weary heart, somehow you clung to vestiges of trust in my faithfulness. Hear me now, my brave warrior. You have reached the climax of this harrowing storm. Even now, angry winds cede to my stern rebuke. Peace be still. Dawning light ascends as darkness flees. Child of my covenant, lift up your head undefeated. Though battle raged intense, still you stand, and locked arm in arm we will finish well this race together. I know you have long endured the silence, beloved, how your soul has groaned in anguish through protracted night. Raw and real, 
You cried out in restless intercession, beseeching intervention, pleading for clearer direction and provision. Beloved, your rescue is here. Behold, I come suddenly to your aid, parting obstacles as the Red Sea waves. Blazing trails through bewildering wilderness, I go before and prepare your way. I bring you forth triumphant, my promises fulfilled. Indeed, consuming fires have reduced long-held dreams to smoldering rubble. Yet consider, even as smoke chokes out the stars and cruel tongues mock your God, hope rooted deeply in my changeless nature springs resilient. Though raging storm clouds shroud the skies, blocking all light, somewhere above the sun continues beaming radiant and undimmed. Just so, though you cannot feel my warmth in this dread hour of midnight, nor see my face through the mist and shadows, I remain unchanging, an ever-present help shining steadfast upon you. I know the chaos and critics threaten on every side to dismantle fragile faith. But now harness every runaway thought, child, silencing those relentless inner voices of condemnation and scorn. Stop rehearsing all those viable reasons why present circumstances absolutely preclude the possibility of breakthrough and blessing, dreams coming true. Hush now, who dares speak such insolence in presence of the Most High God? Expect a miracle, for I shall command deliverance speedily on your behalf. Be strong, my beloved, and keep fighting courageous and wise with all your might. But remember, the weapons I supply you cannot be carnal. Flesh and blood foes are merely pawns on this chessboard. This battle belongs to me, so shift your gaze heavenward for reinforcements. And trust wholly in my timing and strategy, though perplexity and mystery cloud the horizon. My power is made perfect through your weakness. What wondrous freedom rewards all who walk this path of unconditional trust in me. For when your inadequate strength reaches its limits, then overflowing fullness of my strength engulfs you in ocean depths of joy unspeakable. When your futile striving and plans tangle in impossibility, my effortless sovereignty sweeps in to untangle all the knots, ushering in wonders astonishing. When you sincerely acknowledge inability to chart course through mist and waves, no longer attempting independence, then I rise swiftly to still the storm, unveil the stars, guide safely home. And oh, what indescribable adventures we travel together, my precious one, when you place no limits on me. Each step following my lead is cloaked in unexpected grace and delights of my presence. Even valleys shadowed by death become wellsprings of intimacy with me, encounters leaving you forever changed. Yes, I am that faithful shepherd who finds great joy in pursuing my lost little lamb, returning you safely to the shelter of my wing. I leave the flock to comb wild forests and lonely mountaintops, seeking that one speck of priceless treasure until we are reunited. I welcome you home with singing, dancing, and feasting. I celebrate you simply because together once more, I cherish our friendship. I delight in you, beloved child. O oh, precious weary heart, why do you persist in vainly struggling to seize your slice of happiness and purpose, while fearfully obstructing my efforts to freely impart all of heaven's riches? Cease from striving so hard in your own pitiful strength and floundering wisdom. Ask anything in my name, Believe I wish to grant your heart's desire as you delight yourself in me. Commit your way unto me. Then stand back in awe and watch heaven come to your rescue. Blessing you indeed with life abundant beyond capacity to contain. Beloved, I hold the blueprints for the profoundly fulfilling and meaningful life your soul craves as sustenance. Therefore refuse the swarming fears of confusion and anxiety, those relentless what-ifs ravaging your mind, projections that only breed inertia and despair. This day I beckon you, gain much needed perspective by ascending to my heavenly outlook. Gaze out with me at the vast expanse of my sovereignty. Behold intricate embroidery, traces of my mastery across the breadth of your journey thus far. 
Yesterday's problems, which seemed like tangled threads right in front of you, now appear as a beautifully woven tapestry from this high viewpoint. Spend some time here with me, looking at the big picture. What seemed huge and overwhelming before is hardly noticeable from up here. And those scary shadows you were worried about? They were just shadows, unable to block any light unless you let them. Trust that I, your guide, know what I'm doing. I'm leading you step by step, each one at the right time. What seems confusing now, like scattered pieces, will one day come together as a beautiful picture. Today I'm inviting you to see things from a higher perspective, to feel rejuvenated, and to catch a glimpse of the grand plan and kindness that guides your life. Remember the immense love I have for you which will never end. My beloved child, I see you struggling and wanting to give up, but you must not lose heart or cease moving forward for you are destined for greatness. I crafted the story of your life with care before this world came to be. You have always been special to me. Though storms may batter your sails, I remain your anchor in life's tempestuous seas. When others misunderstood and mocked you, I alone saw the goodness within. Fear not when loneliness creeps in. I am always here. Talk to me as you would a friend and confidant, for I judge you not. Unburden yourself of secrets and regrets, worries and tears. My shoulder awaits to ease your weariness and pain. You have endured much hardship, but take comfort in knowing your suffering was not without purpose. Your struggles taught fortitude and wisdom, compassion and discernment. Scars fade, but character endures. What the enemy intended for evil, I will use for good in ways you cannot yet see. Do not define yourself by past mistakes or present fears. I see you as you shall become, not as you are today. I forgive, so you must also forgive yourself. The heaviness you feel is not of my making. Release it and walk tall once more. I never promised life would be easy, but I did promise you would not walk alone. My angels encamp around you, guarding your path. I go before you, toppling giants who oppose my plans for you. Take my outstretched hand, and together we will venture into lands unknown, where dreams take shape and destiny calls. I understand how hard it is to hope when hope seems lost, to trust when trust feels betrayed. But I reward those who believe before they see. Do not lose heart. Miracles bloom in the desert. Spring always follows the harshest winters. Victory will be yours in due time. Until then, live one moment at a time. Do not dwell on that which you cannot change nor control. Instead, speak life and bless those who persecute you. Return good for evil. Let my love and light shine through you. Thus the darkness flees, for it cannot stand where truth and courage reign. You are sensitive, feeling things deeply. This is a gift, though it may not seem so when others ridicule your dreams or question your calling. But heed only my voice, for I know the plans I have for you. Hold fast to our secret shared hopes. Nurture them in stillness as a mother cares for her babe. In time, your gifts will burst forth as saplings in spring. What seems dead will bloom with new life. Then all who mocked will marvel at what I have wrought in and through you. For now, rest in knowing that you are seen and loved. I care not what others say about you, only what I say. And I say you are fearfully and wonderfully made. I knit you together with purpose and call you beloved. You capture my full attention. I notice when a single hair falls from your head. So do not worry I overlook your struggles or forget your name. My eyes never leave you. You feel anxiety gripping your heart, despair knocking at your door. I understand how real these demons seem in the dead of night, but they are shadows without substance. Rebuke these dark whispers in my name. Remind yourself whom you belong to. You are a child of light, not a slave to fear. My perfect love casts out all tormenting fears. You need only let it in. Some try to convince you that you are worthless, 
condemned to a life of regrets and missed chances. They delight in words that crush dreams and steal identity. But their words only carry power if you believe their lies and make them your own. Do not drink from their poisoned wells. Shut your ears to mockers and naysayers. I assure you that condemnation and criticism do not flow from my throne. My words give life, they do not kill. When I correct, it is with patience and love to build up, not tear down. Receive my words as a father guiding his beloved child, not an angry tyrant punishing a groveling subject. If others do not support your dreams, let them go. You have all the affirmation you need in me. Some may even resent the destiny I coax from within you. Take this as a compliment. It means you were made to fly higher than those bound to earth. Forgive them and move on. This world needs your gifts, your creativity, your voice. Do not let the blind make you doubt what you were born to see. I crafted a specific purpose for your time here. Discover it, walk in it boldly, and you will know joy unlike any the world can offer. Above all, know that you are loved beyond measure, seen down to the truest you. There is nothing you can do to make me abandon or love you less. My affection does not waver based on your performance. Even when you fail, you remain the apple of my eye, the jewel in my crown. I take great delight in you. That is why temporary setbacks grieve me so. I mourn when my beloved child walks in self-condemnation and defeat. This was never meant to be your life. But you can choose differently starting today. Take my outstretched hand. Let me lift you out of regimes of self-criticism into a kingdom of affirmation and confidence. You were destined to live as more than a conqueror, boldly facing down every Goliath. But you will only become who I say you are if you believe what I say is true. My words must permeate your mind and take root in your heart. They must shape your beliefs, fuel your dreams, and transform how you see yourself. Consider this a defining moment, my child. What I say, not what you feel, determines your reality. You stand at a crossroads. Will you continue allowing others' words to drown out mine, thus fulfilling their prophecies? Or will you let my voice rise above the fray, awakening to the destiny I prepared for you? The choice is yours, but I pray you let me redeem this season. Where you see barrenness, I see harvest. While you feel forgotten, I call you unforgettable. In your weakness, my strength takes root. Your flaws become perfect canvases to paint my beauty and grace. Say the word, and old identities defined by loss and pain will fade like mist in morning light. Today is Resurrection Day. Now is the hour of your liberation. No longer believe the hissing lies. You are exceptional in my sight. With your permission, I will shape events and bring divine connections to accelerate your emergence and make plain what I've whispered in late night conversations. I will pave roads where there were no paths. Rivers will spring up in desert places. As you take steps of faith, believing what I say is true, you will walk into a realm of breakthrough beyond your wildest dreams. This resurrection journey begins with a single courageous decision. What you choose to believe about yourself, despite contrary evidence. Defy what your eyes see and feelings say. Take me at my word, even when yours seem to fail. Herein lies freedom, my child. In the coming days, many chances will arise for you to partner with fear or faith. Each choice, however small it may seem, takes you farther down despair's barren road or joy's path lush with life. How quickly the thorns spring up when doubt takes root. But miracles blossom in the garden of unwavering trust. Which seeds will you nourish with your thoughts, words, and actions? The outcome hinges on what you believe right now in this pivotal moment. With me, nothing is impossible for those who believe. Even a mustard seed of faith in my word moves mountains in your heart and world. This resurrected life will require radical trust, relying not on your feelings, but my unfailing love. Feast on my word hidden in your heart, more real than what your eyes behold. 
Let its truth reorient your perspective until you view life through my lens. See yourself as I see you. Boldly claim the identities I bestow upon you. They will shape your thoughts, words, and actions in ways that unlock long-awaited breakthrough. As you learn to anchor in my word above ever-shifting circumstance, you will become unshakable. No storm will overturn you because your roots reach beyond this world into eternity. Rise now from the ashes. Take your true place as my beloved heir. Do not hide from the light any longer. Your time in the shadows is over unless you choose to remain there. But if you want joy and purpose fulfilled, you must bring all of yourself into the light of my presence. Leave nothing hidden from my healing touch. Every dark crevice of shame, every broken fragment of dreams deferred now surrender to my blazing, unconditional love. Are you willing, my child? Then come as you are, confused, afraid, battle-weary, bowed low under the weight of others' words. I will meet you where you are to revive what lies dormant within. I will exchange your soiled garments for robes of righteousness, break off condemning labels, and adorn you with royal heirloom jewels. After all, did I not promise to make all things new? That process starts deep in the human heart, awakening beauty from despair's ashes. Then watches the impossible springs forth around you, miracles blooming in the wastelands of yesterday. What good father denies beloved children their heart's desire? If earthly fathers give good gifts, how much more your perfect heavenly father? Ask me for the secret longings I placed in your heart so long ago. It is time now to unveil hidden dreams and make them reality. But you must relinquish all that holds you captive, refusing to build your life around false identities and damning lies foisted upon you. Stop agreeing with the shadows. You are a child of light, called to walk in freedom and authority. Wage war against every word and belief that exalts itself against my knowledge of you. Take captive wayward thoughts and emotions. Make them bow down to what I say is true. Time remains to write the rest of your story. With me, the possibilities are limitless for those who believe. And I believe in you with unwavering, forever love. Take hold now of this second chance to become who I say you are. No matter where today finds you, your best days remain ahead. The choice and power are yours, through faith in me. Only you can renounce self-defeat and step boldly toward your dayspring destiny. If you truly desire a resurrected life on my terms, defined by my love and purpose, speak it now and walk with me into unknown realms of joy. I go before you to prepare the way as I always have. You need only follow in radical, childlike trust. Together we will watch long-held dreams gently unfold blossoming like wildflowers after a bitter winter. Every promise I ever whispered over you while others slept will burst forth with new life. Just watch and see. Spring always comes, my beloved one. The enemy uses people to discourage and mock you, wounding your heart. But fear not, for no one has control over you. I am here, eternally vigilant. I understand the complex challenges burdening your spirit, yet my grace upholds you. This is not the end of your story. You will overcome. While some see only darkness ahead, I intervene with angels proclaiming, Arise, your prayers are heard. A new life awaits. Though many doubt daily, you are not one of them. My word alone heals and lifts you up. You may feel unworthy of my presence, but your humility has drawn me near. I seek not only your home, but the dwelling place of your heart. There I write healing, break chains with a touch, ease your suffering. Fears and pains will vanish, for even the heavens obey my voice. I speak intimately because I long to see your joy and peace, to convey my profound love. This is the inheritance I offer you. 
believe in me wholly and receive it. The anointing of my spirit is upon you. Put on strength. Walk no longer in shackles of pain or false guilt. You are my precious child. Trust me in each step and you will overcome. I see your tears, the deep longing in your heart to reconnect with me. You were made for more. Though life feels beyond grasp, a fountain of blessing flows before you. Drink deeply. Let it cleanse melancholic thoughts. You will thirst no more. Your faith yielded this gift. I have healed you. The door opened wide so I entered fully. I remain blessing your family beyond imagination, performing miracles. Listen for my gentle voice. Unburden yourself here. With each prayer I grant solutions. Fear not, your petitions soar heavenward like doves to my throne. Though doubts hiss lies, I could never abandon you. My promises stand forever. Seek me continually against the forces opposing your blessings. Who has power to aid you? None but I. My mercy brought you here. These trials are preparation. Beyond affliction lies happiness and provision. Let your soul flame burn brightly, keeping you vigilant. I wish to speak mysteries that fortify you. Gather loved ones. Forgive freely. Join hands in earnest prayer. Then share my living words. Where two or three meet in my name, there am I. You feel our enduring bond. Despite distance, I never left. My timing, though perplexing, proved timely as you open more fully. Return continually to this sanctuary of soul. Here you are cherished, safe beneath wings of peace. Dream dreams from my spirit. Wake renewed, sorrows cleansed in crystal waters. This night introduces you to my supernatural realm. Confirm your trust in me. Vocalize it, know it, write it down with unwavering conviction. Amen.